hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking this video today i want to show you how i make quality press on nails that you can sell as a luxury brand i feel like if you've watched my channel for a while you will notice the quality of my nails have improved so much more i mean they're not perfect my line work still needs some improvement but looking back at where i've come from guys i hope you're proud of me <laughs> So this video is beginner friendly so we're gonna get started with the nail prep if you already are not new to this then you can probably skip ahead to the nail design but if you're new to personal nails i would recommend getting a nail stand with some white tack or blue tack to stick your nails on and that will make it so much easier to work on so the nail shape i'm going to be using today is a long square this is probably my favorite nail shape and i'm going to use the nail cutter to just trim down the nails a little bit because they were a bit too long for my liking So as you can see the nails are cut but the tips of them are not completely straight so I'm just going to go in with a normal nail file and straighten those up. So after filing down those edges you can tell that they look a little bit more put together and clean. So to get the quality and the luxury in nails, I would recommend using an electric nail drill to buff and file the top of your nails. You could use a normal nail buffer to just buff the tops of the nails, but if we're going for that extra bit of quality, then let's be a little bit extra with our nail prep. So I use an electric nail drill to just file down the top of my nail. And then I'll go in with another nail tool head which is a little bit more gentle and that's going to smoothen out the nail. If you use an electric nail drill and you don't go in with the buffer and then you apply the gel polish on top of that it won't be smooth so I will recommend filing and then buffing with the nail drill. So here's the side by side as you can see on the left is the buffed nail on the right is just the fouled nail. The buffed nail looks a lot smoother and the gel polish application will also be just as smooth. Okay, so now the nails are buffed, I'm going to take this brush to just dust off the extra powder that was left behind from the filing process. So now we have a solid foundation, we can go in with our base coats. You don't need a lot of base coats, just make sure it's nice and even and covers all the nail. And then cure that for a good 60 seconds. I'm going to apply a nude gel polish to every single nail. If you're struggling with gel polish application, I would highly advise that you do two layers of whatever base color you're doing and then make sure the first layer is thin and even. If you go in and apply a heavy thick coat of the first layer, you risk having uneven nails and sometimes even the nails might not cure properly because there's so much product on there. So your best bet is going in with a thin and even layer and that's where you can control the polish, you can control how even it is and it's going to cure nice and smoothly and if you're worried that your gel polish is a bit too transparent you can always just slowly build up the color layer by layer so once you're happy with your first layer cure that for 60 seconds and then you can move on to applying your second layer as you can see with the second layer I'm applying a little bit more gel polish but still not overdoing it because I don't want to risk the gel polish not curing properly. It's important that you only cure the nail once you're super happy with how it looks because otherwise there's really no going back with gel polish. 
So here's another side by side. The left nail has two coats of the gel polish and then the right has one coat. But trust me, in person, the nail on the right was a tad bit see-through compared to the nail on the left. And I would highly recommend you do two coats. So I'm gonna kill my second layer for another 60 seconds and I can move on to the actual nail design. I'm going to be using my small brushes a lot. So I prefer to put my nail polish on this nail palette just to help me pick up the products more easily than dipping my brush into a nail polish bottle. For the first set of nails, I'm gonna be using the color white and doing different designs on each nail so first up on the thumb i'm doing a french tip i am still yet to perfect my french tips they never really come out even but i'm trying my best so far this is the easiest method i have found when i do two lines diagonally and then connect them with a semicircle and then fill in the gaps but otherwise guys i am no expert in french tips i just try my best every single time but i was actually really happy with these minus them being different sizes again when it comes to line work with your brushes definitely don't overload your brush with the gel polish because you will just create a blobby mess so take your time and just use a little bit of product to create whatever design you're making and then build it up from there on the index finger i did the croc french tip which i'm sure if you're into the whole nail trend world of instagram you've probably seen these before so i thought i would try it out i basically started off with applying another base coat on top and i didn't cure it and then i'll go in and start making those small markings with the white gel polish and let them kind of spread out naturally don't add too much polish just apply a little bit and let it do its thing and then also do the same on the sides except make them a little bit smaller and make them go up the nail slightly more than the middle ones so it creates that french tip curve i found that with these since they were spreading out i had to cure them pretty quick so that the white polish didn't spread out too much for the middle finger i kept it simple again i did another french tip I moved on to the ring finger, I just did some line work. I feel like it looks the most easiest to do, but personally, I'm still struggling with creating nice, smooth, sleek lines. So yes, I'm still working on that. But I did three simple curved lines going diagonally to the tip of the nail, and I tried to make them different sizes. So as you can see, the nails are starting to take shape. So I'm gonna finish off the last pinky with some simple stars. I do a dot in the middle, and then just drag out some simple lines to create the stars. I know they look like they're done but no we need to go back in with another coat of the white just so we cover up those little blotchy areas and make sure the white is popping and your second coat can also be an opportunity to tidy up any lines that were not so straight or seamless Once I was happy with those, I cured it for 60 seconds and now I'm going to move on to applying a top coat. Again, try not to go overboard with the amount of product you put on your brush. Just put enough to cover your nail evenly and securely. And for me, I find that changing the way I hold the nail also helps. So sometimes you'll see me hold it upside down or upright, just different angles to get into those creases and cracks. After curing for 60 seconds, our nails are just about ready, but we're going to finalize these nails by filing the edges with a normal nail file just to make them extra sharp and clean looking and then we should have our final nail design. And that is it for our first design guys. I think they came out really well. So yes, I'm very happy with these and now we're going to move on to the pink croc french tip nail design now i thought i was picking out quite a bright pink but i think because of the nude color the pink kind of washed away in the nude but i did two coats of the pink french tips and that kind of helps bring it out but it doesn't really matter because we're going to add the white croc nail design and that will bring it all together So 
So here this is the first layer of the pink French tip and I've left the ring finger out because I will do a different design on that one. Cure that for 60 seconds and then I'll go in and apply the second coat of the French tips but this time make sure to not cure it because we're going to apply the same croc design that we did on the first set of nails. I'm going to do the exact same thing on all of the pink French tips. To be honest a part of me did want to leave the nails just like this with the one croc nail because it kind of looked cute but no the pink was too faded I had to do the rest of the nails so let's get on with that. So after curing all of those I'm going to do the ring finger and it's basically a super simple heart design well it's supposed to be simple but honestly guys this took so much of my concentration because of the curves of the heart but I kind of managed to make it work let me know what you think or if you have any tips on doing heart designs with gel polish I would love to know I did my struggle hearts and then I cured that alone for 60 seconds and now it's time for the top coats because we're about to finish off this set. It's super simple, super quick. So once that's cured, I'm gonna again file the edges to give it that nice square shape. And that is it guys, two sets of nails done. Obviously I did the other sets off camera, but to spare the time, I just filmed one of each, but this is what they look like together. I am absolutely in love with these. They are so simple, but each nail has its little details that you can spend time looking at. But yes guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please do like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know what else you would love to see from me. And yes, I will see you in my next video. Bye.